Welcome to the Backyard Nature Network video series on tips to attract wildlife to your yard. Tip 8. Managing your pets. This doesn't look like the face of a killer, but every year both feral and pet cats are responsible for the deaths of up to 3.7 billion birds and 6.9 billion small mammals in the continental U.S. If you've made your yard into a critter paradise, you should be extra cautious about your pet's outdoor activities. Even pets that are well cared for can be successful hunters because of their excess energy. Cats and dogs can hunt for fun and not just for food. An easy way to help save the lives of our native wildlife is to just keep your cats indoors. This is the overall recommendation by animal welfare groups, scientists, and veterinarians. If your cat is more of the outdoorsy type, try a catio. This one was built with cheap scrap materials. Some cats can even learn to walk on a leash, but be extra careful not to leave your leash cat alone because they could become entangled. While enjoying the many parks and preserves Pinellas County offers its residents, please make sure you keep your dog on a leash at all times. It's safer for your dog and the park's smallest residents. It's also the law here in Pinellas County. Don't forget to pick up after your dog, even when no one is looking. If it's not picked up, bagged, and properly disposed of, it can be washed away into the nearest body of water. These can be the same water sources that we drink from and swim in. Dog poop is not fertilizer. It has double the amount of bacteria that human poop does. Let's talk about our exotic pets next. Having an exotic pet can be exciting, but some require licenses, some are prohibited from personal possession, and all require proper caging and care. It's always important to consider the long-term care of a pet and how big your pet can get before it's purchased. If you are no longer able to care for your exotic pet, you can bring it to Amnesty Day events held by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, also known as the FWC, where officials will accept your pet with no questions asked. Florida Fish and Wildlife can help you find new homes for your exotic pets outside of these events if you're no longer able to care for them. Call the FWC Exotic Species Hotline for assistance in finding placement for your exotic pets, to report any exotic sightings, or to learn more about the amnesty program. Florida's climate makes it easy for many non-native species to adapt and thrive. Exotic pets that have escaped or were released can outcompete native species for resources like food and shelter. But our biggest concern with exotic pets being released is their ability to prey upon and impact our native species. Exotics do not have their natural enemies here to keep them in check. Some exotic pets are also known to carry diseases that native wildlife do not have natural defenses for. So remember, for the safety of your pets and for the preservation of our native wildlife species, it is best to keep your pets indoors and on a leash when enjoying the outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to the Backyard Nature Network video series and finding out what you can do to help provide habitat for wildlife.